Some frustrated Cincinnati residents say they have a difficult time getting to and from the grocery store. Experts say that creates food deserts, which drive gentrification and displacement. As Monique John explains, they think Metro could be the key to fighting food insecurity. Shoppers don't just have the inconvenience of carrying their groceries longer distances when their nearest Kroger shuts down. University of Cincinnati sociology professor Leticia Bates says the strain of not having healthy food nearby may drive shoppers to relocate too. If the amenities of accessible grocery shopping is one of the reasons why you moved into the neighborhood, if that amenity is no longer available, one might be likely to leave the neighborhood. Bates says that store brands probably aren't trying to encourage gentrification in neighborhoods where they've had to shut down locations. But when important services like grocery stores are taken out, other amenities that don't necessarily appeal to longtime residents have a chance to move in. As a result, marginalized people, especially those who use public transit, can then have a harder time getting the groceries they need and might not be able to afford the rising rents that are spurred by an influx of new businesses. We have to be realistic about the reality of uh, retail sales as it relates to groceries um, and, and the realities that people of color and poor people of color in particular are enduring in their neighborhoods. Metro's organizers behind its forthcoming Reinventing Metro plan say they are aware of how much locals depend on public transit to get to grocery stores. They also say they are aware of how Metro's current shortcomings can undermine food access and hope that their improvement plan will eliminate those issues. Jared Camrus was the chief strategist on Issue 22 and Issue 7, the ballot measures that created a funding shift that then made a pathway for reinventing Metro to be implemented. Well, I can't control you know, whether or not a grocery store moves into a certain neighborhood, but what we could do was work to make where you, where you live more accessible to all those places. With the 15 minute frequency on many of our routes, um, and then the routes that will have 24 hour service, we're making that option of accessing those grocery stores or food banks or what have you a lot more accessible for folks. However, it's unclear just how much of an impact the plan will have in alleviating local struggles living in food deserts. The plan was designed to more directly focus on connecting riders to jobs. Metro also lacks data on Cincinnati's most food insecure areas. And food deserts like Walnut Hills and West End aren't explicitly noted on Metro's list of neighborhoods with proposed changes in its reinventing Metro plan. Monique John, WCPO 9 News.